Would you like to learn how to make gourmet bonbons at home? Well, today on WTF, we're going to show you how to use organic liquid sunflower less than to make the perfect shell on your bonbons. Hello and welcome to WTF, where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, one of the owners of Modernist Pantry. And here on WTF, every week we talk about unique ingredients and techniques and show you recipes that you can do in your kitchen. So subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get notified of our episodes. And don't forget, every week we do have a special giveaway, so stay tuned to find out this week's giveaway. And this week, we are going to be talking about organic liquid sunflower lecithin and how you can use it to make amazing bonbons. And Scott, so we have a variety of lecithins here at Modernist Pantry. We have powder, we have liquid, you know. What exactly is liquid sunflower lecithin? So it's similar to liquid soy lecithin as that it is a fat, you can see here, uh, from sunflowers that helps with emulsification. So it's great for things like chocolate and uh, even emulsifications like mayonnaise or something like that. Yeah, and one of the things that people find when they purchase some liquid lecithin is that it tends to be really highly viscous. Mm -hmm. What do you, do you have any tips for like working with it? You know, some people are like, I don't even know what to do with it. It's so <laughs> thick, it's like thicker than honey. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I heat it up just gently. Uh, in this case, I add about twice as much as I need and I gauge it because if it's between you know 0.5 to 1 percent of the total weight of, of the chocolate it's going to work just fine obviously you don't want to add too much but it's very difficult to measure unless you're measuring it directly into okay. what it is you need to so right here i have it in the in the bowl it's about double what i need so i'm just going to pour it in and, and stop it when i need to okay. uh, just just to get you know make sure there's enough in there um, and that i'm not leaving a ton inside the bowl but yeah if you heat it up it'll become a little bit more fluid okay and because we've done so much work around lecithin already, we're not going to go into great detail about how lecithin works. You can check out those episodes in the cards at the end of this episode. Um, but for people who are not familiar with lecithin, can you quickly go over the difference between, let's suppose if they have powder at their house, can they use powder in the chocolate and just kind of the, the powder liquid um, differences, which I think is really more relevant to this conversation. Yeah, so powder, and liquid are not interchangeable. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can't add water to powdered soy or powdered sunflower less than and end up with liquid sunflower less right. than. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can interchange this with is soy less than. If so, if you uh, have a soy allergy or aversion to soy, whatever it happens to be, you can replace soy less than with uh, organic liquid sunflower less than. So that's great. But yeah, I would never try to replace any powdered less than with. Uh, liquid less than or vice versa. Yeah, and watch the episode to find out why because it's a, it's a pretty big one and we get that question a lot. Yes. And we've used less than in different types of recipes like dressings, sauces, etc, etc. But chocolate has been something that we get questions and requests on pretty frequently mm -hmm. and we haven't done one. So do you want to talk about what is the role that less than plays in chocolate? Sure, so there's solids within the chocolate and there's fat. Chocolate is mainly fat. Uh, and it's a very special fat, but it's fat nonetheless. And the liquid uh, sunflower less than then grabs onto those solids and makes sure that they stick to that fat really well. If that fat is not adhered to those solids, which have just like the most minute, you know, bit of moisture in them, mm -hmm. you end up with bloom. Now, if you look over here, okay. uh, you can see what bloom is. And that's really the fat separating out. Okay. And that piece right there is what I use as a seed chocolate. So when I'm tempering in this tempering machine, or if you're even tempering at home by using, you know, just a, a whisk or a bowl or whatever it happens to be, uh, you're going to add in some seed chocolate. And that's basically that. It's already tempered chocolate that you just add in. It's the easiest method to do it. But when you take it out, it's not fully tempered. So that's why you get that white uh, kind of sheen on the outside. It still snaps and it's still, you know, nicely tempered chocolate. It just does not look nice. Mm -hmm. The liquid uh, sunflower less than helps create that emulsion, keep that emulsion after the tempering has been done. So you still have to go through the tempering process, but the liquid sunflower less than will then help prevent that from happening. Because that happens over time, 
regardless you right. know so liquid sunflower almost prevents that you know completely so. yeah that's awesome so when we get into the demo can you show us at what point do you add in the liquid sunflower less so i have tempered chocolate right here and i'm going to mm -hmm. add this in now it's a very like i said just a very small amount I'll probably have to scoop some out spoon here so i'm just gonna get some out just make sure that i have enough so it's already tempered i'm gonna place this in and at this point i kind of just have to let it do its job it needs to mix in completely you'll notice that it's completely mixed in just when you won't see any streaks of it if you see on top i know it's difficult to see you probably see the overhead mm -hmm. that there's some streaks so it's just got to mix through it's got to consistently go through and at that point it's ready to go oh well that's pretty easy yeah it's very right. easy so we're going to let this mix in and then when we come back we'll fill these with some you know fun ingredients and then we can pop them out and we can uh eat them perfect all right, we're back and our tempered chocolate is just about ready to go. But first, I want to talk about this week's giveaway. And for this week's giveaway, we are giving away a bottle of the organic liquid sunflower lecithin. And to enter to win, all you have to do is leave in the comments below what you would like to put inside your bonbons. It's that easy. All right, Scott, so we have the tempered chocolate ready to go. What are we going to fill them with? All right, so I have a number of different ingredients I'm going to fill them with. I have uh, here is uh, single malt scotch, a little bit of vermouth, and then I thickened it up just the slightest amount of xanthan gum mm -hmm. just to make it solid. So when I put it in the bottom, I'll put a little bit of an, uh, a morena cherry, and then it will act like a, an old-fashioned oh nice. right so i have that and then i have some other ones that i'll go through as i get them but we can get some on here and then uh we'll get to the next step of the process yeah and as you're filling i think one thing we didn't mention which is um what is the difference between tempered chocolate and just melted chocolate so tempered chocolate is a chocolate where the crystalline structure of the chocolate is completely aligned and i know that sounds like some crazy magic but it's absolutely true so if I were just to take this chocolate, put it in a double boiler and melt it, it's going to heat up too much and it will end up with that soft, and I don't want a dog on that, but like Hershey bar style chocolate, you mm -hmm. know, and you can almost like bend it in half before it snaps. Mm -hmm. A properly tempered chocolate has snap to it. So while this is bloomed, it is properly tempered. So if we can get in here, you can hear that. Right. That's an important part of tempered chocolate. Obviously you don't want the bloom. That's why we're using the uh, liquid sunflower lecithin so it it makes for just a much nicer uh, texture and also we're making bonbons which are in these shells here so basically all this is that's already in here is tempered chocolate you put the tempered in once again if you were to put just melted chocolate it'd be too thin mm -hmm. uh, so you you would put it in there and then you dump it out and it, almost all of it would be like the most you know tiny thinnest shell ever that you could never fill it with okay. but a properly tempered chocolate is at a low temperature it's still liquid so it fills these really beautiful and you can dump it out almost immediately and still have that perfect coating on the inside All and right. then a beautiful uh like shine on the outside so right there we have our old-fashioned okay the and next you, one yeah and if you do want to see the entire video of this being made it's on our instagram check it out at modern is pantry we have a a little bit of basically like pumpkin pie filling but Ooh. you can these are things that we purchased you can buy whatever you'd like mm -hmm. but what we did is we took some graham crackers so a little punch out of graham cracker stuff it in there so we have little pumpkin pie bonbons oh how cute right you can do this with any filling any jam works great with that so blueberry raspberry strawberry whatever it happens to be that's great mm -hmm. And one of my favorites, so we are in the New England area, and I grew up with a fun little sandwich, which is made of peanut butter and fluff. Mm. The old fluffer nutter. Fluffer. Fluffer nutters. Ode to my mother. Mm. A little bit of fluff in there. You can also do the same. I made a few over here, Janie, for you to try, which have the graham cracker in there as well, so you get a little bit of breadiness. All right, um, which one is that graham I'll, cracker? I'll go through them now so you okay. can see. So we have uh, fluffernutter. Um, this one's pumpkin pie. Then we have 
the old fashioned. This is just straight up peanut butter. So if you want to make just a peanut butter one. Mm -hmm. And then down here is a, a ginger jam. So <laughs> a big array of different flavors that you can do. So we have these and I think this is where we're going to stay for now. Obviously we'd fill all of these if we were going to yep. fill all these. But if I wanted to do it, so these have a great, and I don't want to tilt it too much. They have like almost two braces here and I like to hold it by the braces. You can see there was some chocolate on here at first. So basically you fill it and then you're gonna scrape it off and you don't ever want any water. If you've never worked with chocolate before, don't ever get any water near it, it'll seize it up. So I'm gonna take a, a little ladle full and I'm just gonna pour it right over the top. If I didn't thicken up that alcohol, when I did this, it would just run out. The chocolate would move in and the alcohol would move out. So I had to thicken it up just slightly. And remember, you don't ever want to overfill your bonbon shells with the filling because you're going to end up with the chocolate not being able to coat it. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to run it down. And do you put that in the refrigerator to set or you just leave it at room temperature? I like to put it in the refrigerator just f or even the freezer just quickly just to allow it to set. It'll set up really in a really shorter period of time mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to pop them out, which I, I can actually, I'm going to run, I'm going to pop these in and then we'll bring them back and we can, uh, we can taste them out. Perfect. Then we can try the fluffer nutter. Yeah. Oh wait, this one is the fluffer nutter. Did you try the fluffer nutter? I tried this one and this one. Okay. So straight up peanut butter and fluffer nutter. Mm. Great. <laughs> they, were, they were really good. I was kind of like just munching away in the background. All right, I'm going to run these and uh, we'll bring them right back. All right, so we have these. They're all set. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this on here. And as you can see, they fall out pretty easily. You need Some a of tap them already them. fell out. Yep. Some of the shells will stay in because there's nothing around the edge, but that's totally fine. Get the last two of these out. There we go. Whoa. Right? You can see how beautiful the shine is on these. Mm-hmm. Right. So, Janie, if you wanted to try one, whichever one you wanted to go for, right. remember it's uh, Fluffernutter. It is... Is it Fluffernutter? No, second one was Fluffernutter. Oh, second one's Fluffernutter, third one... Oh, no, Pumpkin Pie, Fluffernutter is third, and the first one is the Old Fashioned. All right. Um, I've That's already why I put the, the Old Fashioned. I'm going to try the Pumpkin right, and I'm gonna the Fluffernutter. Mm. I'm gonna take a little peek on the inside there. The layers are still there. Mm -hmm. Really nice that crunch of the chocolate. Crunchy, beautiful. Show. Mm -hmm. Great. This is a super fun recipe. So you can get all today's recipes in the links in the description below. Check out our other episodes on Less Than to learn more about them. Mm -hmm. And until next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wang. And I'm Scott Garen.